Today, I want to share with you my favorite and the most durable leathers from Hermes. Please guys, stay with me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oksana. I truly, truly appreciate that you clicked on this video, that you support my channel, uh, watching my video, liking my video, sharing hopefully my video, and of course, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, today, I want to talk about my most favorite and in my humble opinion, the most durable leathers from Hermes. Of course, Hermes has many, many different types of leathers because we are all different, we, are all, we all have different preferences, but there is some, I would say, favorites uh, of many. And some of, let's say, most favorites of everybody, it's like Togo or Clemence leather because they are such a soft and supple. I love it. I love it as well. But if you ask me, are they my absolute favorites? Unfortunately, no. And please don't come after me because, as I said, we are all different. And obviously, if tomorrow I get an offer of Birkin or Kelly in Togo leather, in my preferred color, of course I will take it because I think it's beautiful leather. But at the end of the day, today I want to talk about just three, just three top leathers personally for me. And obviously this is my subjective opinion. But with most of these leathers I have already experienced and that's why I purchased these leathers. And in these leathers I have in some of them just one handbag and some of them already a few handbags. Anyway enough of suspense so and the first one obviously and I think I will be not the only one you many of you will agree with me it's Epsom leather Epsom leather is one of the most uh, durable leather from Hermes and my characteristics of the leather if I'm choosing it has to be durable obviously so somewhat scratch resistant stain resistant etc it has to be water resistant because let's say some of the leathers like togo or clemence they're quite durable in scratches and even if you're gonna get scratch it's very easy to somehow buff it off but they may get blisters from rain and water etc so when it comes to epsom leather you just wipe it off after the rain and it's looking brand new and the third requirement for me personally to love leather completely it has to be light it has to be very very light so epson fits all these characteristics it's durable i love the the texture of this leather I don't have to worry about weather, if it's rain or if it's snow. I live in Toronto, in Canada, so obviously we have too much weather. And it doesn't matter if it's spring, fall, summer or winter. We have rains, we have snows, etc. So um, the condition of the weather is extremely important to me if the handbag can uh, handle. And of course, it has to be very, very light leather because let's say I had experience of um, uh, very, very durable uh, leather. It's uh, Turillo Morris. It's gorgeous, very durable leather. No problem with the reins or anything, but it was so heavy. So I couldn't handle that handbag and I have to, you know, get divorced from that handbag let's put it this way but epsom leather i absolutely love it i have my della cavalleria it's one of my latest purchases it's fairly new handbag from hermes but it's such a cool handbag and i love it i absolutely love it it's perfect for every day and obviously because i have it in gold color with palladium plated hardware it's, it's absolutely perfect everyday handbag so Epsom leather is my number one choice. And another positive point about this Epsom leather, because it's actually not a natural grain, because it's a process, so it's heat stamp leather, 
it's also somewhat the most reasonable um, leather in price from Hermes. So, so many positive points about this leather and I absolutely love it. So, from less expensive, I'm just going to keep it right there, Epsom leather. We're going to go to one of the most expensive, not the most expensive, but one of the expensive leathers from Hermes. And we're talking about exotic here. The next leather that it's very, very durable and my preferred choice i know not many people love this leather but in the latest year i would say year and a half it's getting to my knowledge or like at least what i see on instagram or from influencers etc it's getting more and more popular and we are talking about ostrich obviously my bag is touch i have alligator touch in black but my request was ostrich kelly or birkin in ostrich leather but obviously when i was offered with alligator touch and i was like thank you yes please so what i love about ostrich ostrich is one of the oldest leather from hermes and I remember when I had a chat with my essay at the boutique, I said, if you ask me what is my dream bag from Hermes, I said, I want to have ostrich bag from Hermes. As I said, it's one of the oldest leathers that uh, Hermes uses. It's as old as Borania or Box uh, leather because they've been using these leathers for a very, very long time. Obviously, specific characteristics of this leather, you see that kind of polka dot. And mine is in uh, blue indigo with the black um, alligator touch palladium hardware. Um, what is so great about ostrich leather? So first and most, it's very, very durable, scratch resistant. And if you look at the um, vintage uh, ostrich handbags, the only wear and tear on those handbags, you can see if the handles get kind of almost dirty looking, but this is from the oil of the hands because um, ostrich leather could patina um, if, if you touch it with oily hands, etc. So that's the only wear and tear you could see on those handbags. Otherwise, there is no scratches anywhere or at least very very minimal comparing to the age of the handbag ostrich leather is totally rain resistant and actually i was recently watching one of the video and um, the person was somewhat uh, working at their mess and they're like oh because it's exotic it's you have to be careful with the rain no you don't no, you don't. The ostrich is actually very, very durable and rain resistant. In my case, because I have alligator, so then I have to be a little bit more careful with the rain. So those one could be more sensitive. But ostrich is actually totally rain resistant. Once again, you just wipe it off and no problem. It's very, very light. I mean, like, obviously, it's size 30 and I have alligator, but still, it's very, very light. And I have an organ inside so there you go let me show mine is also kind of indigo blue inside there you go guys and it's very very light um, talking about the organizers this is velvet organizers absolutely gorgeous they are from bug organizer shop and I have guys a coupon they're very very light obviously made of Italian velvet very reasonably priced comparing to other bug organizers in this category and i have a coupon axana lv for 20 percent off uh, there is information at the bottom of this um, video i mean in the description box by no means guys i don't get paid if you just need an organizer i highly recommend and they do for so many different handbags anyway i'm getting off the topic so as I said, it was my choice, an absolute choice, and it's very, very durable leather. If I could have a choice right now of getting Kelly 25 in black or Rouge Ash or even a tube, 
in ostrich oh my gosh i will i will take it in a heartbeat i will take it in a heartbeat it's such a beautiful leather and um, such a luxurious looking absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so this is my choice number uh two and as i said it would have been my choice number one for ostrich leather the only not even negative but uh, drawback obviously of this leather it's very expensive <laughs> obviously it's very expensive so that's why it's not as easy to get i don't know five handbags in ostrich versus getting five bags in epsom leather um i totally forgot to mention that epsom leather was introduced in year 2004 um ostrich leather is one of the oldest leather from hermes and the last leather that i want to talk about is chev mizur and i don't have a handbag from this leather i actually requested handbag from this leather from uh, my essay and there is a few handbags that not quarter bags that come in in this leather it's uh, bolide occasionally also you could get a uh, mini kelly in this um, leather um, if you lucky enough to get a special order many many people choosing special order in chevre because it's uh, it's absolutely gorgeous leather so chevre is actually made of goat that's why it's extremely durable if you're looking at any of your handbags inside they always use goat leather but different from chef uh, mizur because uh, they mostly use um, kind of um, smooth softer uh, um, goat leather for the inside of the handbags and the reason for that because they are very very durable goat leather is very durable and very light once again it's my characteristic durable rain resistant and very light so and chef mizur it's um, hits all those characteristics it's also soft and supple at the same time if you look at the market of vintage handbags and if they are in chef mizur leather you know that they look pretty much almost brand new there is only could be a little bit of stain if it's lighter color maybe a little bit wear and tear on the corners but otherwise they're pretty much looking brand new and i'm so hoping to add handbag in that leather into my collection because i know for a fact it will be light it will be durable it will be rain resistant and as i mentioned this handbag is made of goat skin and it's a specific goats from india in specific region and i believe that's why it's chef mizur because that's a specific region in india as long as i know please correct me if i'm wrong and i believe that leather was introduced to hermes in 90s 1990s i don't know exact year but somewhere in 90s that leather was introduced to hermes and it was becoming an instant uh, popular leather so that's it that's as per my three top choices obviously i love so many other leathers from hermes and i wish to add more handbag in different leathers but this is my absolute prefer uh choice sorry about that so but this is my absolute preferred choices once again i'm gonna repeat epsom it was introduced in year 2004 uh ostrich one of the oldest letters of hermes and chef mizu which was introduced in 90s and unfortunately i still don't have any handbag in that leather but keeping fingers crossed i'm gonna add handbag in this leather this year so that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you like the video please don't forget to give me likes share my video subscribe to my channel and i will see you on my next one bye bye